What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to yet another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how you can make your own custom skin packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now in case you do not know what a skin pack technically is, is effectively an entire file full of multiple different skins that the game is going to go ahead and end up reading. People have actively figured out how to make skin packs that are 100% free to download, install. However, the majority of skin packs, at least from what I can tell, are all on the marketplace where you do actually have to go ahead and buy them for mine coins, which is perfectly fine. I'm not going to say that this is definitely a bad thing, but obviously if you want to make your own custom Minecraft skin pack that doesn't exist anywhere else, then this is obviously going to be what you're going to want to look for. And I had to do some research because I had no idea how to go ahead and do this. Other people have already made YouTube tutorials on this, but I figured I'd do it as well just because I thought this would be a fun thing to go ahead and do. Speaking of, uh, before we go ahead and get into the actual tutorial, I did actually go ahead and make my own custom skin pack for me to go ahead and use, yeah, I went ahead and made the Zero Studio skin pack. I know, not really too huge of a surprise, but what's interesting is that if I go ahead and select this one, this one obviously says it's the Zero Studio skin. And if I choose this next one, this is the Zero Scientist, aka my lab coat skin. Then I've got the Zero Ghostbuster skin. You guys obviously get the point that I'm trying to get across, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this particular tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be making for you guys the Mumbo Green Skin Pack. As you can obviously tell, I'm a bit of a fan of the Hermitcraft series. And actually, technically speaking, before I go ahead and get started, I'm just going to be simply showing you guys the actual codes themselves instead of actually writing them out just to make things go a little bit faster. However, I will have a link down in the description to this particular skin pack that I'm actually making so that you guys can go ahead and edit this for yourself or maybe you just simply want to use it if you really want to and we'll also have linked down in the description my personal skin pack if you guys decide you want to go ahead and use it it's completely up to you but yeah as you can tell we have a few different files first off we have a mumbo.png and a green.png these are obviously the actual skins that minecraft is actually going to end up loading however what we're going to be focusing on for this particular video is this text folder right here which we're going to get to last the skins.json file, and then we have this manifest.json file, which I'm going to actually go ahead and open up first. And by the way, if your text editor is not able to read these raw files, I'm going to be showing you two of them are .json file. One is actually a .lang, which is what's inside the um, text folder. So, uh, you can go ahead and just take change these files names from .json or whatever it is to .text so that your file editor, uh, text editor, should technically say, is able to open them. And then once you're done and everything's saved, just change them back to the original file format. So let's go ahead and open this up. And this is actually where you're going to end up seeing more than likely, depending on what you're actually downloading. Obviously, we're going to be downloading this particular pack. Obviously, this is exactly where you're going to end up seeing. And so right here, we have the Mumbo Green skin pack right here next to name. As far as I can tell, Minecraft does not actually read this particular part of the code. However, there are three other pieces of code that you do need to be aware of. First off, this type does need to be set to skin pack. That's actually fairly obvious. But there's also these UUID codes up at the top and bottom that are actually very important. And both of these are actually 100% different from each other. It's actually very important for you guys to be aware of. And I actually do have a website that I do recommend that you guys go ahead and use for this particular purpose. It's right here www.uuidgenerator.net and this is where you're going to go ahead and get yourself your UUIDs for the actual files for this and you're actually going to need to generate this twice two entirely different UUIDs as I said they are two entirely different codes but what's nice is that we have this refresh button right here as well as this copy button down here to make things a little bit easier to go ahead and put those files together but other than that it's literally all there is to the 
manifest.json file. So let's go ahead and move on to the skins.json file. This one's actually a little bit more complicated, but I will do my very best to explain exactly what's going on in this particular file. So first off, we have skins slash skins.json for the geometry right up here at the top. And I do know for a fact that people are smart enough to figure out how to make custom geometry for skin packs. I've seen this a lot in the Minecraft store. Unfortunately, I do not know what you need to do to go ahead and do that. I do apologize for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. Hopefully somebody else will have figured that out for you. So I'm obviously not the person to look for for that. But regardless, let's go ahead and look at the rest of this actual uh, file right here. So first off, we have down here the serialized name, which this is the Mumbo Green Skin Pack. And again, as far as I'm aware, the game does not actually read this. This is just for your personal reference. But we also have this localization underscore name right here, which I have set this to MBSP, which this is actually going to be important later. And you can set this to whatever it is that you want it to go ahead and be without too much of an issue. But then right here we have ourselves this right here the localization name mumbo again this localization name is going to be important later but the geometry is geometry.humanoid.custom and that's because mumbo actually does use the four pixel white skin and the texture is the mumbo.png file for the actual skin this is what minecraft is going to load however green is actually slightly different obviously the localization name and the texture is going to be referencing Two different things but in the geometry department it's actually custom slim which the actual uh slim does need to be capitalized and that's because green actually uses the three pixel wide arms so do keep this in mind and obviously you can go ahead and change out around whatever it is you want for all of this you can just simply copy paste multiples of these to get exactly what you want so it's not really too much of an issue and again before i go and move on to the last part the mbsp and then the mumbo and green up here are going to be very important so again you keep that in mind so now let's go ahead and go into the text folder and we've got this n underscore us dot lang and if you live in a country other than the us or you speak a completely different language you're probably going to want to use a different version of the lang file unfortunately i don't really know any other language so we're just going to go ahead and get into this so let's go ahead and get started with this this is actually probably the easiest part of this entire thing besides the actual manifest.js because there's like literally not a lot you have to really add. of course you're going to have to like add a lot more lines of code obviously but this is actually pretty simple so we've got this mbsp yet again dot mumbo and this is again using those references those internal references and this is going to display the name mumbo jumbo for the actual mumbo jumbo skin the same with green mbsp dot green equals green as the file name however skin pack dot mbsp is actually going to tell the game what to display inside the skins menu as far as what the name of the actual pack is concerned. I did actually do some testing. If you do not have this file, it's going to have this random um, multiple um, uh, bullet point um, name for absolutely everything, which is a, definitely a bit weird. So this is definitely the way that you want to go ahead and set it up if you want it to have very specific names. So now that we have everything that is we're going to end up needing, we need to go ahead and package all this so let's go ahead and click on this and we're going to need to go ahead and click on select mode obviously if you're going to be using a completely different um a different um program then obviously it's going to look a lot different from what i'm using but let's go ahead and rename this to mumbo green skin pack and it really doesn't matter what you name it because the game doesn't really read this. This is just for your own personal reference. So let's go ahead and click on OK. So if we go ahead and do that. So there we go. It went ahead and saved it in a... Where did it save? I actually don't know where it saved it. Okay, there it is. I see it now. All right, so now what you want to go ahead and do is click on this. 
and you're going to go ahead and rename and what you're going to end up renaming this is to dot mc pack and then minecraft should automatically know exactly what it is that you're trying to do with this particular file so there you go so now if we go ahead and click on this and we should be able to just get minecraft to go ahead and run this i am technically on android so i do have to select this manually but you guys should obviously get the point so if we go ahead and open this inside of minecraft this should say that the import has started and is successfully import the mumbo green skin pack so if we go ahead and go into the actual oh i still have my um controller's mouse mode on apologies for that all right so if we go ahead and go into the skin pack as you can tell we now actually have the mumbo skin and we also have the green skin so now i can go ahead and install these onto my character if i really want so maybe i want to go ahead and install mumbo jumbo so now i actually do have mumbo jumbo skin maybe instead i want to go ahead and do greens instead i can definitely do that so it's really easy like i said and again you guys will be able to find down in the description uh the links to the actual um files that i've actually listed in the middle of this video the actual mumbo green skin pack that i just made for the purposes of this video my personal skin pack and then the uuig generator that you're gonna need for the manifest.json in order to go ahead and be able to get this to actually run but other than that this is actually where i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video so hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure that like button or more than make sure that subscribe button for future content also you can follow me on twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated this has been zero stews thank you guys for watching and with that i'll see you guys later